Hello everyone, welcome to MEP Booster. So in this lecture, we'll discuss plumbing design codes and standards. After the end of this lecture, you would be able to understand plumbing design codes and standards. So let's start. So now here we'll see about plumbing design codes and standard in detail. Okay. So plumbing design follows internationally recognized codes and standard to ensure safety, efficiency and sustainability. Okay. So now here I will show you the most widely used plumbing codes and standard along with their purpose and application. So let's see. So the first one is what IPC International Plumbing Code. So this international plumbing code is published by International Code Council. Okay. So this is standard used in the US, Middle East and other countries. Their purpose is to regulate plumbing system design, material, installation and inspection. So the key provision of international plumbing code is what? Water supply and distribution requirements drainage, venting and sewerage system regulation, sizing criteria for pipes, fixtures and water heater, grey water and rainwater harvesting system design. Okay. So this all are the key provision of international plumbing code. So for example, uh, in Dubai and Saudi Arabia, normally international plumbing code is widely followed in commercial and residential building to regulate water supply and drainage system okay then the second one is uniform plumbing code so uniform plumbing code published by international association of plumbing and mechanical officials okay it is used in the us canada india and some uh, gulf country okay there Main purpose is to ensure safe plumbing system design, installation and maintenance. Okay. Is it clear? So in India, normally uh, uniform plumbing code is referenced in the national uh, building code. Okay. Guiding plumbing practices in commercial and uh, residential projects. Now the next is NBC, National Building Code of India. So this is standards and codes is published by Bureau of Indian Standard. Okay. Normally this codes National Building Code of India where we are using in India only. Okay. And their main purpose is to provide guidelines for plumbing system design in residential, commercial and industrial building. Okay. Then next we have a American Society of Plumbing Engineers Standards. Okay. It is published by this is standards is public by ASPE only, American Society of Plumbing Engineer in US. Okay. And normally this is standard uh, is used in US and global project. Their main purpose is to set technical guideline for plumbing system design and best practices. Okay. Clear. So the important uh, American Society of Plumbing Engineers standards are what ASP data book normally we have which cover water supply, drainage and storm water system. Then ASP 45 which give you the guideline for siphoning roof drainage. ASP 75 uh, is the hot water temperature limit you will get in that standard to prevent scalding. Okay. So these are the important ASP standards. Okay. Then we have a American ASHRAE, American Society of Heating, Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Engineers. So this is standard is published by ASHRAE and it is used in glo uh, global use in commercial building. Okay. Their main purpose is to provide design recommendation for energy efficient water heating and plumbing system. Okay. So the key ASHRAE guideline for plumbing is ASHRAE 90.1 energy efficient hot water system then ashray 189.1 which is the sustainable water use in green building and then we have a ashray handbook hvs for hvac application okay so here you will get in this handbook you will get the plumbing design for hvac cooling tower and condensate drainage clear 
then next we have a national plumbing code of canada in short you can say npc so this is standard is uh, or code is published by national research council of canada okay this is standard used in canada and their main purpose is to set regulation for safe plumbing system design and water conservation okay so the key provision of this standard is what water supply and backup prevention standard sanitary drainage and venting system requirement pipe insulation guideline for cold climate okay so these are the key provision of this standard then we have a british standards of plumbing code like bs 6700 bs en 806 so this standard is published by british standards institution normally this standard is used in uk and europe which define water supply and plumbing installation standards okay so bs en 806 is a specification for portable water distribution bs6700 uh, here you will get the design and installation of domestic water supply system okay then next we have a european standard here some references given en12056 en12502 en1717 so see European standard is published by European Committee for standardization and this standard is normally used in Europe okay which provide regulation for water supply and drainage system clear so EN 10256 here you will get the gravity drainage system design in detail EN 12502 corrosion protection for plumbing pipes then EN 1715 here you will get protection against backflow contamination in detail okay so normally uh, in germany en1715 is followed to, ins to install backflow prevention devices in commercial kitchens to prevent contamination of drinking water okay then we have a dubai plumbing code and it is also called uh, or you can say okay in short Uh, dpc dubai plumbing code okay so it is published by dubai municipality okay this uh, standard is normally used in uae okay their key purpose is to regulate plumbing installation based on ipc and upc standards then we have a saudi plumbing code which is published by saudi building code national committee okay and it this standard is normally used in saudi arabia which uh, regulates plumbing installation uh, based on international plumbing code and uniform plumbing code standards okay so these are the plumbing design codes and standards so now the topics which we have covered in this session we have discussed in detail about the plumbing design codes and standards hope all of you enjoy the session see you in next one